Hello dear brothers and sisters. Welcome back to the Gifts of God channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful and blessed day in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we're going to talk about a shocking event before the start of the Massachusetts. I hope you'll enjoy the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Let's journey together and listen to this video until the very end. Type Amen if you believe, may the Lord bless you all abundantly. Before delving into today's message, let's offer a prayer to Mother Mary, Dear Mother Mary, you are the beloved daughter of God the Father, I entrust my soul under your care. Please protect the life of God within my soul. Do not let me lose that life because of sin. Please protect my mind and will so that all my thoughts and desires may be pleasing to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Many witnesses saw the miraculous signs of Our Lady of Guadalupe appearing on one of the walls of a shrine before the start of the Mass in Venezuela. However, the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe, once again, gained the most attention on social media. This photo, appearing in a church in Venezuela, shows the miraculous appearance of Our Lady of Guadalupe. This unique event took place at the San Juan Bautista de Valera Conservation Area. The manifestation occurred when an image was seen within the outline of a painting depicting Our Lady of Guadalupe reflected. Witnesses could clearly recognize the colors of the cloak of Our Lady of Guadalupe as a shadow formed around her portrait hanging in the church. According to parish priest Juan Carlos Negretti, the artwork of Our Lady was displayed that day to honor St. John Bosco, the patron saint of the pro-life movement. This fortunate event occurred on the same day as the anniversary of Don Bosco's death and the commemoration of seven years of faithful devotion to the sacrament of the Eucharist. The parish priest stated that this phenomenon carries such significance, emphasizing that it clearly portrays Our Lady of Guadalupe embracing the suffering people of Venezuela. He prays for Venezuela and Mexico, asking Our Lady of Guadalupe to reign in the souls of those who have turned away from her Son, Jesus Christ. Indeed. A mysterious phenomenon is being observed by tourists visiting the shrine of Our Lady in Altagracia, Córdoba Province, Argentina. Although the image of the Virgin Mary is prominently displayed in the niche of the altar above the table, this area seems empty to the naked eye. The Argentinian news agency AA claims that this is a three-dimensional rendering of the garment with precise folds rather than a flat image. Furthermore, it is not just an illusion created by the fervor of pilgrims because both believers and non-believers can perceive it. What is surprising is that photographs taken at the shrine still show that image. A peculiar aspect of this phenomenon is that as one approaches the altar, the image gradually fades until it completely disappears from view. The image remains unchanged even though the Archdiocese of Córdoba, where the shrine is located, has not issued an official statement, according to sources from the Shrine of Our Lady in Altagracia, speaking to CNA, ACI Prince's Spanish-language news agency. The Feast of Our Lady, on February 11, was celebrated with pilgrim masses continuing to attract thousands of faithful to the Holy Shrine, highlighting the importance of this place as a sanctuary. In a service last year, Archbishop of Córdoba, Archbishop Angel C.Y.O. Rosie, emphasize that one's experience of weakness and illness does not exclude them from the community of believers, rather, they draw them closer to God's love. Masses were held on February 10th and 11th this year to commemorate the 47th pilgrimage to the Shrine of Our Lady of God. On February 11th, the festivities began with a solemn midnight liturgy. This was followed by the Rosary at sunrise at 5.30 a.m., and then a special Mass for pilgrims at 6 a.m. Another Mass was scheduled for communities and movements at 9 a.m., and another for families at 11 a.m. Additionally, Horacio Alvarez, Auxiliary Bishop of Córdoba, presided over a prayer service for the sick at 6 p.m. Notably, Mama Anela, Argentina's first female saint, was canonized in Rome, so Archbishop Rosi was not present at this Mass. At 7 o'clock in the evening, there was a procession along with the opportunity for confession throughout the day. The phenomenon has attracted the attention of many, 
originating from the Shrine of Our Lady of Altagracia, located on extensive grounds and inaugurated in 1916 as a replica of the Grotto of Massabielle in Lourdes, France. The apparition of the Virgin Mary to St. Bernadette Subiru in 1858 is commemorated by this replica. A committee to build a prayer house near the grotto was established in 1922, and the foundation stone of the prayer house was laid in 1924. The prayer house was approved by the Bishop of Córdoba in 1927. A statue of Our Lady of Córdoba stood at the center of the church's altar for many years, but it was removed from service for restoration in mid-2011. It now sits at the base of an empty niche where it once was. The mysterious event began when a priest in charge of the shrine noticed something from the main door of the shrine that seemed to be a statue made of plaster. Upon closer inspection, he saw that the painting seemed to shrink from a distance. It turned out that the previously empty room now had an apparition. Although there is no physical image, everyone can see this phenomenon. In 2011, Carmelite monks who walked the grounds of the shrine issued a statement acknowledging that the appearance of Our Lady of Mary is holy and inexplicable. Indeed, they are urging believers to consider this a sign to strengthen their Catholic faith, encouraging repentance through God's love and promoting active participation in church activities. They emphasize the message of Our Lady as a sacred revelation preserved in the Catholic treasure trove of faith, while also stressing its consistency with the gospel narrative of Our Lady's life among humanity. Let's consider the prophecy of Simeon in the first mystery and the heartfelt cry of Our Holy Mother when she knew that a sword would pierce her heart. Let's think about the sorrows that Mother Mary endured, knowing the pains that Jesus would go through. Let's contemplate the greatest tears shed by those who worship Jesus both on earth and in heaven. Dear Jesus, please listen to our prayers for the sake of the tears shed by your holiest mother. We pray to you, as we consider the tears of our holy mother throughout the exile and persecution by King Herod, as well as her lamentations about the loss of the holy innocents, let's think about the escape to Egypt in the second mystery. O oh Jesus, once again behold the tears of the one who worshipped you most on earth as well as in heaven. For the tears of your holiest mother, hear our prayers, Jesus. Let's see the tears of our holy mother as she witnesses the extreme suffering inflicted on Jesus when he was beaten, crowned with thorns, and carrying the cross when we reflect on Our Lady's encounter with him on the way of the cross in the fourth mystery. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. What do you think about today's topic? Leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest videos. In conclusion, I wish you all a new day filled with positive energy. May the Lord be with you. Amen.